Tonight, the coroner in East Baton Rouge, Louisiana, said today a murdered civil rights activist had been strangled. Sadie Roberts Joseph founded an African American history museum in her hometown. Maria Villarreal spoke today with her brother. The discovery of Sadie Roberts Joseph, dead in the trunk of her own car, has left her brother Joseph Armstrong in shock. We've never seen anything like this in our immediate family, and it's really, really hard. The 75-year-old local civil rights activist was last seen Friday morning after baking cornbread with her sister, according to the family. Around 3.45 that afternoon, her car was found on a dead-end street several miles from her home. They popped the trunk, and then she was in the trunk of the car. Police have offered little information to explain what happened. An autopsy released today concluded she died of traumatic asphyxia, including suffocation. How did it happen? Or uh, why? Why did it happen? How did it happen? Was it a robbery or was it what? Roberts Joseph was widely known for her charity work and activism and has been described as a treasure to the community. In 2001, she founded the local Baton Rouge Black History Museum. In 2011, Roberts Joseph spoke at an event she organized to commemorate the end of slavery. Embrace diversity, learn of our history, and just, that's the only way we're going to be able to heal. It took more than 20 years to build this museum. It was Sadie's dream, and now Sadie's family tells us they're not sure how they will keep it open and who will actually run it. Meanwhile, police also say they have been tirelessly working to find who killed her here in Baton Rouge. Nora. All right, thank you, Maria.